Hey, are you planning a move to Wyoming or are you planning to visit? There are so, so, so many great things to do and see here in the wide open and beautiful state. Hi, I'm Alicia Collins with the Alicia Collins Real Estate Team. And I have spent a lot of time telling you about all the things that make Wyoming so great. But what about the things to see when you get here? Why are people coming to Wyoming? What are some specific places that make Wyoming so great? Here are a few of my top must see places to visit in Wyoming. The first on this list is probably one of Wyoming's most known attractions, Yellowstone National Park. Did you know that Yellowstone is our nation's first national park? So cool. In fact, it is actually the world's first national park. The park is contained in three states, 96% in Wyoming, 3% in Montana, and 1% in Idaho. The highest point in the park is 11,358 at Eagle Peak. And the lowest point in the park is 5,282 feet at Reese Creek. Here's a fun fact. Yellowstone is larger than the state of Rhode Island and Delaware combined. Have you ever heard of Old Faithful? Well, the rarest type of fountains of all, geysers, are found in Yellowstone Park. In fact, Yellowstone has more geysers than anywhere else on Earth. The most famous, Old Faithful, got its name in 1870 for its regularity. However, Old Faithful is not as reliable as its name would suggest. During the last few decades, the average interval between eruptions has lengthened, causing some to question its faithfulness. While this geyser has never erupted at exact hourly intervals, its eruptions are somewhat predictable. Plus, Old Faithful erupts about 17 times a day more frequently than any other large geyser in the park. Isn't that crazy? Of course, if you have heard anything about Yellowstone, you probably know that it is home to many free roaming bison, bears, elk, and other majestic wildlife. Now, there have been some recent news stories, so perhaps I should mention, this wildlife is not for petting. Yellowstone is actually home to the largest concentration of mammals in the lower 48 states. The wildlife is abundant and diverse with an estimated 300 species of birds, 16 types of fish, and 67 species of mammals. The largest number of mammal species in one place in the contiguous United States. Yellowstone is amazing for sure. But travel a little further to the west and you will run into the world-renowned Grand Tetons. In person, it only takes one look at these mountains to feel overcome by their beauty. There isn't a site I have seen that even remotely compares. They are big, they are beautiful, and they are in Wyoming. Grand Teton National Park was established in 1929 and then again in 1950. In 1929, President Calvin Coolidge went against enormous public opposition and approved the original 96,000 acre park, which encompassed the Teton Range and six glacial lakes. In 1943, President Franklin D. Roosevelt established the 210,000 acre Jackson Hole National Monument to protect the remaining federal lands on the valley floor. In 1950, President Truman and Congress merged the monument and the national park and a 35,000 acre donation from John D. Rockefeller to create the 310,000 acre Grand Teton National Park that we visit today. What a journey. Eight peaks towering over 12,000 feet exist within the park. The highest peak, the Grand Teton, rises 13,770 feet above sea level. That's pretty high, am I right? Sticking to the mountain theme, let's talk a little bit about the Bighorn Mountains. Recreation knows no limits in the Bighorn Mountains. You can hike, bike, camp, boat, or even photograph the abundant wildlife and striking panoramas or even visit just in time for hunting season in the hills. Become an ice climber for a day or show off your fly fishing skills in a small mountain stream. It feels as though you are stepping back through time as you explore wonders all around you. Done exploring? How about a horseback ride through the mountain passes looking towards the setting sun? The Bighorn Mountains are full of endless discoveries and they're right here in Wyoming. How about another outdoor wonder? Sinks Canyon. I actually grew up in Lander, Wyoming, so we went to the Sinks Canyon very often. This space is a rugged canyon located right at the base of the southern Wind River Mountains in Wyoming. 
located on the eastern slope of the mountains. This canyon is named for a unique geological formation, the sinks, where the river vanishes underground near the mouth of the canyon. Trust me, you cannot talk about Sinks Canyon without talking about Lander, Wyoming, my hometown. They go hand in hand. Lander has been ranked as one of the best outdoor towns in America. It is the gateway to the Wind River Mountains and known for rock climbing. Nearby Granite Peak, standing at 13,804 feet, is Wyoming's highest peak. Visiting this area of the state is so worth the drive. It is so beautiful. Many outdoor enthusiasts have traveled from all over the world to experience the Wind River area. From solo backpacking trips, mountain climbs, and simple camping and hiking, this spot is amazing. Lander is even home to Knowles, National Outdoor Leadership School. They have hands-on expeditions where you spend time exploring remote, wild places with a tight-knit community of students and instructors. No experience is required, but by the end, you will have the skills and experiences required to be a leader. You can bet people are traveling to Wyoming for that sort of experience. Listen, there are a lot of gorgeous outdoor areas in Wyoming, but Flaming Gorge National Recreation Area is one of the most breathtaking. There you will find red canyon walls and green forests on either side of the Green River and plenty of opportunity to enjoy the outdoors. If you visit Flaming Gorge, you will most likely see people partaking in water sports like boating, kayaking, fishing, and rafting. Travel even higher up the canyon and you'll find desert and forest hiking trails where you can admire much of the landscape below. Flaming Gorge is definitely worthy of this list. Next on the list is historic Cody, Wyoming. Cody is a small city located in the northwest part of Wyoming. It dates all the way back to 1896 when it was founded by Buffalo Bill Cody. You've heard of him, right? With nightly rodeos and gunfire reenactments, you get a taste of the Wild West experience. The downtown area has upscale lodging, restaurants, and galleries, but there's plenty to do outdoors here too. Feeling adventurous? You can try out rock climbing, mountain biking, kayaking, or perhaps some river rafting. Have you ever heard of Devil's Tower? Oh my gosh, it's another natural feature of Wyoming. And Devil's Tower is a national monument. It is a flat top tower of volcanic rock that rises more than 1,200 feet into the air. Popular with rock climbers from all over the world. But if rock climbing isn't your thing, you can also explore the nature trails, including just over one mile of paved trail circling the tower that can be enjoyed by hikers of all skill levels. How cool. Last on the list is Hot Springs State Park. This park is home to the world's largest mineral hot spring and is a very popular destination for visitors all year round. If you visit in the warmer months, you can take advantage of the park's extensive trail system and explore the rock formations that create the hot springs. You'll also spot bison, gorgeous flower gardens, waterfalls, and petroglyphs throughout the trails. Come in the cold months and enjoy the healing warmth of these natural hot springs. You can't really lose either way. As always, you know that Casper area real estate is what I know best. And that fits nicely into my lifelong passion of the state of Wyoming. I would love to hear from you. Please subscribe and drop a comment to let me know what you think I should add to this list. I love, love, love living in Wyoming. And I'd like to help you too. So if you're moving to the Casper area or anywhere in Wyoming, I can help you. I can help you either in the Casper area with my team or I can help find the best agent for you. We want you to love where you live. See you soon.